Hey guys, Taco Smurfs here. So this is a collection of some of my highlight moments in Spider-Hack gameplay. Spider-Hack was developed by Never Jam Studios. Uh, they're a small studio, and this is one of their first games. Recently I got a chance to join the Discord, talk to the developer a little bit, ask a couple questions, and just really get to know the game a bit more. And uh, I'm hoping to bring that to you guys here with a couple of these clips. Uh, we got through the first six waves here without taking too much damage, so I just wanted to start off with that, because this was a pretty good way to start off a survival run solo. Uh, our best solo is wave 23, I believe. Uh, we haven't been able to beat that though. It's been very, very difficult because this game is just intense. Uh, it's never the same twice. There's never a duplicate moment. There's always something new. You're always battling more than two or three um, things at a time around you. Not just enemies, but also the environment, the recoil on the weapons, the lack of gravity in most maps, the fact that most maps are just chaotic. For instance, this map here, I believe it's called Hanging. One of my favorite maps, but also I think one of the more difficult maps in the game. It's definitely chaotic though, as you can see here. It's very, very difficult to keep yourself hooked on. Sometimes you get flown around in this map, especially in the Tears of Heck when it's only little mini bombs that you have as weapons. That's totally chaotic. I, it's almost impossible. It took a very long time for me to beat that survival tier. And even in this uh, run through right here, you'll see that I get super lucky a couple times. Like right there, I just barely managed to escape the blast radius from that bomb. Uh, there's a couple other moments too that are just very clutch. I like, uh, I finished this one off with a double play uh, earlier there. And then this one's just luck, I think. Pure luck. This game does take a lot of skill, a lot of patience. You will die more often than not from your own mistakes until you really learn the recoil, the gravity, the gun, the movement of the enemies. And it's chaotic on single player, but it gets even more chaotic when you're playing multiplayer. The up to four players, and you, I find that, especially if you're not you know, in a group with the people and you're not working together that it turns into absolute chaos. I have some perfect examples of that coming up later in the clip here. Quickies right here where I'm just blasting through uh, enemies real quick, whap, whap, whap. These were, uh, this is after experience, like you don't just start the game like this, most people anyways. I, uh, these were some sweet quick sweeps. And I just wanted to share them with you guys to show you, like, once you've got a little bit of a handle on this game, it's so much fun. The, the killing sprees that you can go on, the intense runs that you have to do constantly just to stay alive and keep yourself, like, you know, supplied with weapons is a challenge in its own way. As you see here in the next few clips, they're totally just a gong show like you have to always be on the move you have to always be at attention if you even like let your guard down for a second you're gonna get hit from behind uh, I go on quite a good run on these couple of kills though so it's been a good day anyways though uh, you guys if you're interested in checking this game out it's currently 40% off in the Steam store so go to the link below to check that out if you're interested also, don't forget to like and subscribe if you like the content, and if you're really interested in the game and want to talk to the developers and ask questions or have comments, join their Discord. I'll post that link below as well as a link to our new Discord where we're slowly growing and setting up wicked bots. Have a great day, guys. Taco Smurfs out.